I recognize the member from Saskatoon North. So, uh, Sophie, I believe. If to, our, to uh, do an extended uh, introduction. Member from Saskatoon Southwest has asked leave for an extended introduction. Is leave granted? <laughs> Mr. Speaker, in the uh, West Gallery today, we have several guests who are here in honour of the centenary of the Salafit and the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. We have with us Lal Khan Malik, who is the movement's Canadian president, who is visiting us from, from Ontario. Tanvir Shah, who is president of the Saskatoon branch. Dr. Habib Ur Rayman, who is president of the Regina branch. And with them are Munib Ahmad, Humayun Nasir, Rafiq Sahi, Kabir Chugtai, Musad Ak Hayat, Nasir Malik and Faisal Masood Malik. Mr. Speaker, one of the challenges for all Saskatchewan people is to create an environment where diversity is welcomed and celebrated and where our differences are set aside and the values which we share are paramount. In our world of ever-increasing technology, you would think it would be easier to achieve these goals, that a world reduced in scope would be less susceptible to the idea of hatred and violence. But ironically, technology has made it easier for those who breed hatred to get out their message. However, there are times when people of different faiths can come together and take a stand for a world that is inclusive and caring. Mr. Speaker, that's why I am pleased to recognize the centenary of the Salafat in the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. The movement which has members in my constituency of Saskatoon Southeast and throughout Saskatchewan carries a simple message, love for all, hatred for none. As founder Hazrat Mirza Ghulam Ahmad wrote, it is our principle to have sympathy for the whole of mankind. If a person sees that fire has broken out in the house of a Hindu neighbor and he does not get up to help in putting it out, I tell you truly that he is not of me. If one of my followers sees a Christian being killed and does not go to his assistance to re rescue him, then I tell you quite truly that he is not of us. I say it on oath that I have no enmity with any people. Established in 190 countries, the Ahmadiyya Muslim community continues to preach a message of peace and tolerance. The movement is a reminder that the values we all share are stronger than those who would seek to divide us. Differences in the way we worship may exist, but the underlying belief in the goodness of humanity is common to us all. As the Ahmadiyya movement in Islam celebrates this centenary, I would ask that all members of the legislature recognize their commitment in reducing strife in the world and building a society based on respect and understanding. Mr. Speaker, these gentlemen will be outside in the rotunda shortly following uh, question period. I would certainly like to invite all members to uh, introduce themselves and to meet these people, and I would like to uh, thank them very much for being here and for their contribution to, uh, to humanity and peace in our world, and ask all members to uh, join with me in welcoming them to their assembly. I recognize the member from the General Mr. Speaker, I'd like to also uh, join in, in welcoming the uh, members from this uh, uh, Ahmadiyya movement in Islam. Uh, it's well that we acknowledge the leaders of various uh, groups within our community, and it's especially a uh, treat to welcome uh, the Islamic leaders here. Uh, we know that uh, they are contributing greatly to our country of Canada as well as uh, to the whole world, and we very much appreciate having them there. So let's, uh, I urge all members to welcome them. Thank you. I recognize the member from Saskatoon, Greystone. Mr. Speaker, to you and through you and to the members of this assembly, I would like to introduce a gentleman in the West Gallery.